What's going on guys? Kevin here from thesportsgeek.com and in this video I'm going to go over my DraftKings Arnold Palmer Invitational PGA Tour picks. Before we move on to this week's picks, I just want to do a quick little announcement. Fantasy Labs has finally launched their PGA tools. I've been waiting for this for weeks, ever since they announced that they were going to start doing PGA tools, and it's finally here. And it's actually free uh, for at least a couple of weeks here while they launch. So if you don't have an account yet at Fantasy Labs, go to thesportsgeek.com slash fantasy labs. Uh, the link is also in the YouTube description. Sign up for a free account and you'll get access to all of these premium tools absolutely free. So right now I've got the player model loaded up. Um, I went with the Colin Davey model. There's a bunch of different models you can choose from or you can create your own. So I've got Colin Davey loaded up and then you can see the player ratings here. You can also check all these different stats um, about each golfer. And then uh, you got the pro trends and then you got your own trends. So for the trends, you can come in here and create your own trends. It's really cool. I won't really go into detail in this video, but check it out yourself. Go to thesportsgeek.com slash fantasy labs and that will take you over to fantasy labs to create a free account and get access to these free PGA tools. So first, let's take a look back at my Valspar Championship picks from last week. I gave out four picks as usual. Three of my four golfers made the cut with Willett putting up 61.5 points, Choi with 41, and Kang with 63.5. And, and then I had Andrew Loop miss the cut with just 17 DraftKing points. So overall, just an average week for those four picks. At the bottom, you can see I wrote Steve from GolfBanker.com had the tournament winner, Charles Schwartzel, as one of his DraftKing picks. So uh, he's definitely a great follow for golf picks. If you haven't already uh, started following his picks, head over to golfbanker.com. Those of you who follow me on Twitter probably saw that I had a pretty big sweat going on Sunday afternoon in the $27 contest. I was actually in first late Sunday afternoon watching this tournament. I was winning $50,000 at the time. Unfortunately, Hoffman hit it into the water on 16. He double bogeyed that. And then Billy Haas blew his three stroke lead, ended up losing in a playoff. After the Hoffman uh, shot went in the water, I believe I was in third or fourth, winning the 10 or 15,000. And then when Billy Haas uh, blew his lead, I dropped down uh, when Charles Schwartzel won in the playoff, dropped down to eighth for 1,500. So not bad overall. It could have been a lot better, but it was a lot of fun either way. Uh, just a quick lineup review of how I created this lineup. Basically on Wednesday night, I created about 10 or 15 uh, entries here with uh, low owned players who I thought had a chance of winning this tournament, who have had proven success in the past, proven winners. And uh, that included Louis Oosthuizen, Billy Haas, Luke Donald, Steve Stricker. I made a lot of lineups uh, around those four guys and then kind of filled in the gaps with Hoffman and Kang in this lineup. So one of the strategies you can do is just find golfers who are good golfers, who have proven success in the past might not be at that course specifically but they've been proven winners uh, they're just good golfers all around they have a chance at winning the tournament but nobody's talking about them uh, you can kind of put together a lineup that way and if you get lucky um, if those golfers end up doing well a lot of people won't have them and you'll have a good chance at winning so that's kind of what happened here had a really good chance at winning just a couple bad shots on the back nine um, kind of ruined my chances there all right, and then we've got the Sports Geek Invitational 100-person contest, $5 to enter. Congrats to Fantasy NFL 1960, who took it down for $135 this week. And congrats to all five of these guys who placed. Uh, we'll be doing another one this week, $5. First 100 people, it's first come, first serve. I'll send that out in an email. We move on to the Arnold Palmer Invitational, one of my favorite tournaments of the year. It's played at the Bay Hill Club and Lodge in Orlando, Florida. Bay Hill is a 7,381 yard course that plays as a par 72. We've got a great field here with lots of top golfers, including Roy McIlroy, Adam Scott, Henrik Stenson, uh, Justin Rose, Jason Day, and many more, including back-to-back -back winner Matt Every, who will try to win here for the third straight year. So there's not too many uh, stats that we're gonna be looking at specifically for this course. It's not really a bomber's course. Um, it's kind of a mix of everything. Uh, so we're gonna be looking for players who are good at putting, um, good tee to green, uh, greens and regulation and birdie or better percentage for the DraftKings scoring. Okay, so my first pick here is Adam Scott at $11,700. Coming right back on him after he won me some money two weeks ago at the WGC Cadillac Championship, which he won. He's actually won his last two events and prior to those two wins, he had a T2 finish. So there's definitely no hotter golfer on the planet right now. This guy's just on fire. He's gonna be highly owned, but I think he is a must play, at least in some of your GPP lineups this week. I think he can make it three straight tournament victories this week. As far as course history, he took four years off playing this event, but the past two years he has finished solo third and T35 last year. He ranks first in strokes gained T to green, first in birdie or better percentage, and sixth in greens and regulation, and his putting stats are on an upward trend. So I think he fits this course perfectly. He's the hottest player on tour right now. 
And I think Adam Scott is still a good pick, even if he has high ownership. This week at 11,700, I think he'll pay off that price. Next up, we got Matt Kuchar, 9,400. Comes into this tournament with great form with a T11, T28, and T8 over his last three tournaments. And he has top 25 finishes in 11 of his last 17 events. He doesn't have any recent course history, but he did play here four times from 1998 to 2003, going three for four in made cuts. And he's above average in the key categories, ranking 32nd in strokes gain tee to green, 31st in strokes gain putting, and 31st in birdie or better percentage. I just like the way he's playing right now. I think this course fits his game well, and I like Matt Kuchar 9,400. Dropping down a level to William McGirt at 7,700. He's played here five straight years, making the cut in four of those five years, which includes a T8 in 2013. Uh, he's had a T20 and a T8 in his last two events played, which were both on tough courses as well at the Honda and the Northern Trust. Uh, he ranks 17th in strokes gained T to green, 40th in strokes gained putting, and 16th in birdie or better percentage. So well above average in all those categories. He's made seven of nine cuts this year. Uh, he's never won on tour, but I think this could be the week that he does. 7,700 is a good price for McGirt this week. And then for my last pick, I'm going to drop down a little bit further to 7,500 for John Ha. He comes into this tournament with great form with a T6, a T8, a missed cut, T14, and a T22 in his last five events, and he has top 25 finishes in six of his last eight tournaments played. He's played the Arnold Palmer Invitational three times with finishes of T73, T27, and a T55 last year. His ranks in some of the key stat categories aren't special, but I can't ignore his recent form. If he can top 25 for us again this week, that would be great for his price at 7,500. So I like John Ho, 7,500 this week. All right, guys, so if you enjoyed this video, let me know by clicking the thumbs up button on YouTube so I know to keep making these PGA Tour pick videos. And if you don't have access to my free lineup generator tool, make sure you click on the lineup tool link in the YouTube description below to get that absolutely free. And you'll also get my email updates with more picks. As always, guys, good luck with your contest this week. Hope you make some money. Cheers.